a different kind of sand trap here, how golf can help troops cope with the stresses of war. CBS 2's Nina Kapoor explains the program and also introduces us to the charity with local supporters. Golf season is in full swing, bringing dozens of people out to Lido Golf Course, even in this scorching heat. But what many don't realize is how the sport is used overseas by the men and women who fight for this country every day. Hitting golf balls has been praised by the troops as a great team exercise and a way to boost morale. But troops don't always have the proper equipment. So Friday, Hempstead leaders met to announce they'll be collecting golf equipment, whether it be balls, clubs, or other gear, to send to troops in war zones through the Bunkers for Baghdad charity. People have equipment sitting in their homes. It could be a year, a year old. They're not using it. This is going to a great cause. It's going to our men and women overseas, giving them a little pleasure while they're serving our country. So far, the not-for-profit Bunkers in Baghdad charity has sent 10 million golf balls and more than 700,000 clubs to Afghanistan and 64 other countries. I served in the United States Marine Corps in Vietnam, and there's times where when you're not trying to get the objective done where you have some downtime and you close your eyes and you think about home. Donations will also include the thousands of stray balls collected each season at the town's two courses. The next time the ball goes where you don't want it to, just leave it. And remember that uh, it's going to be headed uh, to a brave serviceman or servicewoman who's defending this great nation. You can also drop off any golf equipment to either one of Hempstead's golf clubs, Lido or Merrick. In Hempstead, Long Island, Nina Kapoor, CBS 2 News.